Hey, what up? It's Ty1822 here to review WWE Monday Night Raw. So Raw starts off with a tribute to the legendary Paul Bearer. Paul Bearer died at the age of 58 years old. Very sad. I wish this man was still on this earth. I mean, but that's life, man. You just never know what's going to be your last day. I've uh, been a big fan of this guy since I was a kid. You know, him with Undertaker and Ken. Great memories, man. Paul Bearer. All wrestling fans, we will all miss you, and you will always be, and I'll remember you, for the great moments you gave us as wrestling fans. So once again, rest in peace to legendary Paul Bearer. So the Undertaker uh, comes out to pay tribute to Paul Bearer. Then Sam Punk music hits. Now Sam Punk music, uh, I'm biased, sorry. Sam Punk music hits. So then Sam Punk uh, said that, you know, nobody will remember, you know, Paul Bearer, you know, video package. They're going to remember, you know, the package of me defeating you at WrestleMania 29, 20, and 1. Now, this segment wasn't disrespectful to me. You know, some, you know, fans on uh, Twitter said, oh, this is very disrespectful, tasteless. But to me, it wasn't tasteless. We all got our got our own opinions. But to me, it was not tasteless about this segment at all. They didn't disrespect Paul Bear death at all. The Big Show versus Seth Rollins. This is Seth Rollins' first singles match. Uh, in the WWE, uh, didn't last long. The Shield took out uh Big Show once again with a triple powerbomb. I love the Shield. Great booking by the WWE. If they booked the Nexus like this years ago, man, mm -mm, just, just think about that. If, if the Nexus was booked like that, you just never know, man. You just never know. But that's in the past. It's all about the Shield now. The Shield, the best thing going in the WWE. Daniel Bryan versus Dolph Ziggler. This was a really good match right here. Match of the night. Dolph Ziggler gets the victory. Now, I thought Daniel Bryan was going to win it because Dolph Ziggler, this guy been jobbing lately, but thank God WWE, you know, <laughs> you know, booked this right. But, you know, it still don't give Dolph Ziggler credibility because the guy been losing nonstop. But then if Big E Lansing, you know, he attacked uh, Daniel Bryan. You know, of course, AJ Lee wanted that to happen. After what Daniel Bryan told AJ Lee on SmackDown last Friday. Tessile Brodus Clay uh, and Naomi and Karen looking so good in the cheerleader outfits. Not only ass, oh my God. One of the goals in my life is to grab her ass, man. Oh my God, I love me some Naomi. So Tessile, you know, calls out Fantango. Uh, Fantango said that, you know, uh, I would not do a match. You know, until somebody pronounced my name right. So then he wanted Naomi to do it. He said she the one got, you know, all the rhythm. She's, you know, the beautiful one. Uh, Naomi was going to do it, but Tessa didn't let her do it. Tessa got a microphone. Then uh, Fantango just left. Now, I like I like what they're doing with Fantango because they're trying to get heat on this guy. He like, I'm not going to do the match. Because don't forget, when Damian sent out for a debut, he was like, I'm not gonna take on this guy. I'm gonna wait for a little while. So they're doing the same thing with Fantango. And I wonder who the hell gonna get his name right. You know, <laughs> who gonna get his name right? Maybe Lily Garcia or opponent. But soon Fantango going to have a match on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown. But he better have it on Raw. It's live TV. Why do it on a tape show? Cody Rhodes and Damian stand out versus the New Age Outlaws. I marked out again for the Outlaws. The match didn't last long. Brock Lesnar came out, took out Billy Gunn, and ruled on with F5. Then Paul Heyman said, Brock Lesnar will accept your challenge at WrestleMania 29 Triple H. And he said, I got two words for you, Brock Lesnar. So, um, they show uh, Damian send out Cody Rhodes backstage. Now, Cody Rhodes is talking to uh, Caitlyn. So then uh, he said, man, you know, I got better divas. Two of them. It was return of the Bella Twins. Oh, man. I couldn't believe it. Everybody on Twitter was marking out. The Bella Twins, the Bella Twins. The Bella Twins look them better than ever. They had this white, all white on. Oh, my God. They was looking so goddamn good. Thank God the Bella Twins are back. The Bella Twins are sexy as hell. Thank God WWE brought the Twins back. Like, what's the old commercial? And twins! Oh, man, that's, that's class commercial with Super Bowl, man. Class-ass commercial. And if y'all didn't know, the Bella Twins, you know, they are the chicks in the old, the old Super Bowl commercials. When a dude be like, and twins! That's a little history for y'all if y'all don't know about that. Kobe Kingston versus Mark Henry. Um, squash match, of course, Mark Henry won this match. 
Ryback versus Heath Slater. Of course, Ryback squashed him. He won the match. Then Mark Henry uh, came out. Mark Henry and Ryback took out Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre ain't shit. Remember, this guy was future World Heavyweight Champion, and that came from Vince McMahon. I wonder, do Vince McMahon ever look back and say, I would never do that shit again to another young superstar? I would never say that guy's a future world champion because Drew McIntyre is a bust. He's a bust. A lot of people think that he can make an epic comeback. No, Drew McIntyre is a bust. He is not coming back with a new gimmick to be successful. He's a bust. He will be released soon, and he might be with the Aces and H in 2014. I won't be shocked if TNA, you know, had a storyline going to next year anyway. So I expect that right there. Drew McIntyre, Aces 8, 2014, or this year. You just never know. Alberto Del Rio versus Antonio Cesaro. Alberto Del Rio gets the victory. Sheamus, uh... Teams of Randy Orton versus uh, Cody Rhodes and Damian Sendow. Vic Guerrero made this match. Um, Damian Sendow and, uh, you know, Cody Rhodes, of course, no way in hell they're going over in this match. Randy Orton and Sheamus gets the victory. Y2J, the Miz, Wayne Barrett had a dumbass segment. Michael Cole was shitting all over it. Talking about the movie. Jericho talking about, you know, being an Continental champ. He might do it for the 10th time. Brad Maddox came out, made a match between the Miz and Chris Jericho. Didn't last long. And then disqualification, Wade Barrett interfered. Then the Miz and Y2J, you know, took out Wade Barrett. Jack Swagger versus Sin Cara. Jack Swagger, of course, gets the victory. Then a Bertrand Del Rio came out to attack Jack Swagger, and then Jack Swagger ran. The main event, no disqualification match. Sam Punk, Kang, Kang didn't like what Sam Punk did earlier, you know, with him and Undertaker. Uh, he felt very disrespectful. Uh, this was a good match right here. Um, uh, you're gone. The you know, Undertaker about to come out. Uh, then uh, Stan Punk got distracted. Kang hit him with the choke slam. One, two, three. Undertaker music plays. Undertaker walking down. Then P Punk takes the iron, hits Kang with it. Then you know Undertaker comes in the ring to see you know see what's going on with Kang. Then um, Punk you know put the iron in the air and with his hand in the air. The Undertaker did his you know. This right here, I can't roll my eyes. I wish I could. I always wanted to roll my eyes with Undertaker, but I never could as a kid. So I gave the fuck up. Like I can't roll my eyes. And you know, my mom always told me as a kid, if you do that, you your eyes will get stuck. So I got scared too right there. So that's why I stopped trying to do the Undertaker jump when you be like and roll your goddamn eyes. I, I maybe she was just telling me that crap a goddamn kid. Maybe it was a goddamn lie. I don't think you, I don't think your eyes can really you know get stuck while you know doing Undertaker shit when you roll your eyes backwards. I just bring that up for no reason. I know I'm like, what the hell, Ty? That is so random what you just said. But tonight, Monday Night Raw was an okay show. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I am out. And oh, yeah. No John Cena tonight. That was very strange. I'm out. Nope. Oh, damn, messing up. Let me start over. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I am out. Peace.